back to EA Sports. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. All right, we're just moments away now. Let's head it down to ringside. Ray Ferraro, is there an edge here for one way or the other? I don't think so, James. Looks like a pretty evenly matched game. We'll see what the goaltending does. That's always critical. Who has a better night on the special teams? That also always very important. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. Let's do this. The puck is dropped. We're on your way. And that pass goes awry. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Antons takes it inside his own end. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. There's the whistle. Preventing any sort of opportunity to set up with the extra attacker. Tripping the call on the play. I don't necessarily think he's trying to trip him here, James, but he gets a stick into his feet. Down he goes. Durham's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. They haven't had a power play yet. The game's scoreless. This is a fantastic opportunity to break the ice. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Gains the zone from the right side. And he slides it quickly to Jass. Oh, and a little too much air on that one. He's trying to shoot that right next to the goalie's ears. Get it up top, but he shoots it too high. The Stars get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Quick feed to Carbono. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Trying to get back on the attack now. Taken along the wall by Carbono. Puck scooped up by Smith. To the low slot. Stones him in front. Sharp reaction save. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Still scoreless in this one. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Comes out to play the puck. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? Now a quick pass to Aginla. From the point, looks to make something happen. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Flips it up the net. Misses over the net. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Cammy's caught with the hook and the official saw it. And here comes the judgment from the official. The Stars have been called for hooking. It doesn't take very long to get on the wrong side of the play. You're a step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. Obviously, goals have been hard to come by. Here's the first power play of the game. The Comets win it. Takes the feet at the back end. Charlotte's got the puck in the defensive end. Christensen's carrying it ahead. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Charlotte's got a hold of it against the wall. Pushes it across to David. Nice zone entry from the middle. Moves it quickly over to Christensen. Big play inside the defensive zone. A chance to get it out. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Off the glass and out of the zone. Consider that a win for the penalty killers for now. You bet it is. Now they can get a change, get some fresh people on the ice. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Dives in front of the shot to block it. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. And the puck leaves the zone. Still tied here as the power play fails to come up with a goal. 
I can't imagine the coaches are going to be very happy with that. This is a really good piece of video to show the players, though, because you show them great. You add it in the zone, but there was no danger generated on that power play. Here he is in front, and that's taken by the defense. There's the whistle stopping play penalty coming up here. Sin bin bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Durham's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they get another chance here. They've earned the power play. They haven't got anything on their power plays yet. Haven't had a lot of them, but here's a nice chance for them. Stopped by the goaltender. Puck slid down the ice. Durham's got a hold of it along the wall. Angles it over to Aginla. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. We've got a penalty coming up on the play. Ali's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. The sound the slash makes off the equipment alerts the referee. If you're going to slash him, look for the spot with no padding. Durham's got a five on three, and the clock's their BFF here. Too many times on a long five on three, the power play becomes static. Get it to the middle at the very least. Shoot it and make the penalty killers react. And now he moves it quickly to Aginla. A chance on goal. Gets in front of it. The Stars have it from the corner. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Great reflexes. Another save. Moog save right there is an excellent one. Denies him. Trying to clear. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. The Stars gain possession along the wall. Sends it quickly to Keane. Moves the puck. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. They get it out of the defensive end. Slides it quickly to Aginla. Wrist shot from the slot. Denies him in front. Wester's got the puck in his own zone. And they manage to clear it. Durham's got the puck along the boards. Looking to set up offensively. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Moog's not getting much help from his teammates. He has been snowed under here in the early portion of the game. He's been excellent, though. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Still no score in this one. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. From center, they get into the attacking area. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Made the stop on that play. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Charlotte's got a hold of the puck. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. I like the work the penalty killers did there. The power play at times looked dangerous, but they didn't give up anything. And the power play is now over. Durham's got the puck along the wall. Rocked on the play. Did he ever get it, James? That's a really good hit. Now the player's got to go pick up his stick because that got knocked right out of his hands. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Quick pass to Jackman. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Charlotte's on the attack. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Make a change, make a change. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, what a stop! And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Moon's gonna hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. It seemed like a broken record to the truck here. Yeah, I want to see that again. There's another stop for him. Here in the late going of the frame, we're still scoreless. Christensen's won it in their own end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Moves it to Keane. Couldn't make that one happen. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. That pass goes a little sideways. Smith's got it along the boards. 
Durham's got the puck against the half wall. Wrist one in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Pokes it away in his own end. Puck picked up by Smith. Here's a short pass to Keane. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Strong defensive effort. The Comets with time for one last rush. Wild Wings got it now deep inside his own end. And he loses control of the puck. Can't catch up to the pass. That concludes the first period. Really, both teams still filling each other out here as we are still scoreless. Join us for our next team practice, which will be open to the public. Admission is simply by donation. With all both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. Still no score in this one. We'll see if period number two finds ourselves a goal. Ray, we've already got 20 minutes under our belt here. What are your thoughts of this one so far? Durham's coaches keep patting them on the back when they come back to the bench, telling them what a good job they're doing. They know they've had the puck a lot. They're waiting for the breakthrough. The Stars will play it in their own end. Durham's in now. Excellent stick work on the play. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. The Comets have it against the wall. Charlotte's got it in their own zone. They go on the attack through center. Nice poke check. Slides it over with pace to Keane. And he slides it quickly to Birch. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's the pass. It's in the back of the net. He scores! Geez, I like this, James. When the puck's in their hands, they attack, and they attack in layers. The odd man rush is worked to perfection. Durham's body language looks relieved down there, Razor. Well, after a while, you wonder, is it just not our night? They're able to get a bounce finally, and they're on the board. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. The Comets gain control of the puck against the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Quick pass over to Keane. Charlotte's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Comets have it now. Slides the puck over. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. A chance from the slot. How did he stop that one? Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. And a penalty coming up as the official blows the play dead. Cammy's getting called for slashing. If you're going to slash, you better not make it so obvious. I mean, that's a penalty every time. Durham's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. You can always tell when the power play hasn't had many chances. Those guys are hungry. They get over the boards in a hurry. Charlotte's won the face off deep in their own end and manages to clear the zone. Durham's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Carbono. And that's just out of reach. And the always popular icing call made. You know what that means, Ray? Now, offensive zone face off man. He missed the play going down the ice. And that's a gimme icing. Now they can't change. You've got tired guys on the ice. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Important draw for him. The players are tired after the icing. Keeps hold of the puck. Cody's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Charlotte's got a hold of the puck. They clear the zone. Durham's got a hold of it against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. 
Good defensive stop with the poke check. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Wester's trying to change a few things up. This pointless streak is starting to nag at him. Durham's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Charlotte's won the draw in the neutral zone. Durham's ready to go on the attack. Jabs the puck away. The Comets scoop it up along the boards. They move the puck out of harm's way. The Stars have it behind the cage. Tries to get the puck to Aginla. From the point, they take control of it. Right on the doorstep. Can't connect. Both sides back to even strength. The only positive for the power play there is they didn't have to skate up and down the ice. They didn't generate anything. They had it in the zone, but really nothing very good about it. More than half the frame has been played here. Durham's up one zip. The Comets take possession off the faceoff. Quick feed to Christensen. Charlotte's got it in their own zone. Ali's gaining momentum. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Carbono. Here's a chance! And that one's turned away. Charlotte's got a hold of it along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Waters. And now he angles it across to Ali. Steps into the offensive end. Puck battle along the boards. All smart heads up play to put that one away. Takes the puck at the point. Jazz is taken down. A penalty is coming up. And let's see what the call is. He's going off for tripping and... Doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, Dad, did you really have to call it? The Stars send their man advantage unit out once more. Time for the power play to go to work. They haven't had a lot of chances tonight. To Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Durham's got the puck behind the net. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. With the stop. Charlotte's got possession while undermanned. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Durham's got control of it now from their own end. Jazz has it at center ice. Hangs onto the puck. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Denies that opportunity. able to make the save as we see here this is a good scoring chance but he's in good position past the halfway mark of this period one nothing the score and with the two centers tangled up the winger skates away with it and that's blocked quick pass to Anton's can't find his man puck clear from the defensive end Looking to break out here on the power play. And he passes it up ahead to Cody. Pinned up along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. Christensen's taking it from his own end. Puck move back to the neutral zone. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Well, this has been a familiar script. Take a penalty, kill it off. The penalty killers have been perfect tonight. Durham's moving it into the offensive end. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Picks up the puck in his own end. Through center along the wing. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. And now he moves it to Ross. Charlotte's got the puck along the boards. Durham's looking to break out of their own end. Charlotte's ready to go on the attack. Right to the middle. Moves it to Ali. Takes the feed at the point. He scores! Now you gotta keep clawing back. Trailing in the game, they get the equalizer. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. It's 
equalizer comes at a critical time of the game, late in a period, isn't it, Ray? Anytime you give up a goal late in a period, you feel like you've given up more than that. So this is a critical goal. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Sends it in deep. Charlotte's got the puck along the wall. It's been a tightly contested affair this far as the period comes to an end. When your team wins, you win $10 off at Bob's. Bring tonight's ticket to any local Bob's Sporting Goods for a coupon that's good for $10 off your next purchase of $50 or more. Tickets must be redeemed within a week of the game. Don't go anywhere. The third period is just moments away. here in period number three. James Cebulski and Ray Ferraro set to call the action for you. Third period, we are all tied up, and the next goal could be a biggie. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Puts it on net, and a great save! Charlotte's gained possession along the boards. Durham's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. That opportunity is rejected. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Keane's been whacked on the play. The official's arm is up in the air. Durham's got the puck against the boards. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Slashing the call here on this one. Now he got his two minutes worth there, James, as he's fishing away, and all of a sudden he takes the stick back and whacks him pretty good. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. They've settled too much for one shot. They've got to get into the front of the net, James, and find the rebound. Cody's battling away, trying to keep his position in front of the goalie. Deep inside the defensive zone, trying to clear the puck. Gets it out of his own end. The Stars get a hold of the puck along the boards. Now over to Cody. Moving into the attacking zone. Pokes it away in his own end. And he regains control of the puck. Busted up on the play. Now you get in the right spot. Sometimes the thing just hits you. Retrieves the puck. Trying to kickstart this power play. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Across the line from center. Here's a short pass to Owen. Great defensive stick work on the play. The Stars gain possession along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Stopped by the goaltender. They score! Well, somebody's listening to you between the benches. Well, if you speak enough, somebody's going to hear you eventually. <laughs> they had to get people to the front of the net. That's where the extra pucks are. The rebound's there, and they put it away. Gets into that. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there, and he puts it away. Durham's had the puck on their stick all night long. Now they finally have a lead in the third. Yeah, but there's still a lot of time left, and they know it. The coaches are talking to them about not taking a step back. Picked up along the wall by Smith. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. And now it's grabbed by Smith. Gets the puck over to Cody. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Takes a shot, and that one stopped. Let's see what the official says here. The Comets are getting penalized for slashing. Now ah, that's a frustration penalty. It's a bad one for him to take.
The Stars once again send out their power play unit. When we talked to both coaches, they talked about how important the power play was. What I like about this team, though, they've already scored, and they look like they're hungry for more. Denies him! He got all of it! Six minutes, 42 seconds. The Stars have it against the wall. Back to the blue line. Here's a chance! That goes off the post and stays out! Durham's continually pushing the play. They've got the lead, and this shot hits the post and stays out. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Moog's probably the one reason that this game is the way it is. His save percentage has been outstanding. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Love the way he moved that puck up quickly. Quick shot, big save. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. The Stars take it across the line. Shot in front, over the net. You can go games without a chance from here. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. The Stars don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Gains the zone through the middle. Owens back out onto the ice as we are back to even strength here. Uh, another good penalty kill for them, James. They've done the job start to finish when they've been shorthanded. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. In close! Scores! That's two unanswered now. Uh, they stayed right on it. Once they got that first one, they just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, Durham's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. The Stars win the draw here in the neutral zone. Puck grabbed by Birch. Moves it on over to Jass. Battle along the boards. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Sends it quickly to Carboneau. Couldn't complete the play. Frank's got it in the defensive end. Slides the puck to David. They've got the defense outnumbered. Quick feed to Owen. Oh, the puck doesn't get there. It's so crowded in front of the goaltender. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Slides it diagonally to Carboneau. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Again, has got the puck. Charlotte's got a hold of it against the wall. The Stars get a hold of it. Charlotte's got the puck in their own end. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Here's an odd man rush. Wrestling in close. Oh, and it goes off the stick. Big save by the goaltender once again. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. What a steal in his own end. Takes that pass back at the point. Somehow knocked away by the goalie on that one. Quick hands, not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. Grant's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. Late goings of this period. The Stars are up 3-1. Christensen's won the draw. Handles the puck. Comes up with the stop. Charlotte's got a hold of it along the wall. And the puck's kicked free. Cody's stick handling in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Anton's. Gives it right back. Scrum along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Keane. Durham's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Puts it on net. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Move to the middle. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, a blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. The 
the Stars lead it late in this third period. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. He scores! Jumps all over his rebound and puts it in. Nice play to follow his shot. He gets the initial shot, follows it in tight, and is able to beat the goaltender with his own rebound. Taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro School of Hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after you, goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. Manages to hang on. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Strong defensive effort. Quick pass to Wild Wing. And it's a quick pass to Christensen. Takes the feed. Durham's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes it to the net. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Moves it to Christensen. Takes the pass. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Moves the puck across to Carbono. Can't connect. And there's the final horn, bringing this one officially to an end. And the beat goes on, and it's amazing how they continue to find different ways to lose here during this run. Play some really good portions of games and then find a spot in the game where they blow up, they make a mistake, and they just can't get it back. And that'll do it. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. Thank you.